Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Sean here, and I hope you're going to be joining me for this live broadcast here in just a few minutes, about 30 seconds. We are live, and uh, I'm sorry, but I'm losing the sun, so uh, I promise if it gets too dark before this is done, uh, I will do it over, uh, either inside or later uh, later this week, but we'll get this done. So I'm going to jump right into this so that uh, I can make the best of the amount of light that I have. All right, we're going to be talking about ventilator management, intro to ventilator management. I'm going to be talking about the when, the why, and how to uh, manipulate IDE ratios. Uh, this was for one of the uh, one of our group members. He uh, sent me a question. We were talking about um, IDE ratios, and I figured, what the heck, I'll just uh, go ahead and do a quick broadcast and show him uh, or show you uh, what it's all about. Um, you can tap your screen, give me hearts or whatever the heck. I don't even know what Facebook Live does um, if you'd like this. But in any case... Um, Somehow, I think maybe you can share it. Um, in the future, we're going to be doing more of these broadcasts, but I'm probably going to be doing them on Periscope. Um, but we'll get more into that later. All right, let's let's um, let's save our sunlight and get going here. So, here is the Ravel ventilator. This is uh, made by Carefusion. It's a it's a fairly new, maybe in the last five six years, ventilator that's been out, um, and it's great great ventilator. Um, this is what we use. I love it. It's small and um, it does a ton of uh, really cool things. But today we're going to be talking about IDE ratios. So let's get into this. All right. When I turn on the ventilator, um, it's going to go through its initial setup. It's going to ask me the same patient. I'm going to clear these alarms so that it doesn't bother me. I've already got the test lung set up. And I'm just going to set the same patient intubated because I was toying around with this earlier. Let me get, uh, let me get my, um, my tidal volume of a more normal physiologic rate. I was messing with inverse ratios and all that craziness. We don't want a respiratory rate of 40. Okay. Okay, so this is where we're going to start. I hope, hopefully that this is, um, you can see this plenty well. Um, all right, so IDE ratios, what are they? It's basically, it's a correlation between how long the ventilator is delivering uh, an inhalation versus how much time the patient uh, is allowed to exhale, right? It's very, very simple. So you can see here I have my, um, my respiratory rate set to 15, 15 breaths a minute. And I've got this, I don't know if you can really see this, but this says uh, uh, eye timer, inspiratory timer. So this is one second inhalation. I've got it set to 450 is my tidal volume. And the uh, exhale tidal volume is 4, 430. So you know, there's a little bit that's not coming back out of the machine. That's that's fairly normal. Okay, so let me turn the dial here until we get to IDE ratios. Okay, when you're reading IDE ratios, you need to think of it um, as I've got a rate of 15 and an inhalation time of one second. So my eye time, uh, I've got 15 seconds worth of inhalation time. Well, out of a minute, that leaves me 45 seconds. Divided by 15, that's three. That's where the three comes from. So a one to three, you can add those two together, multiply it by your respiratory rate, and it should equal 60. All right, how do we change IDE ratios? There's really two primary ways that we do it. We either manipulate the respiratory rate, or we rest, we manipulate the the amount of time that the patient is receiving their inhalation. Uh, so in this case, we have the eye time. So let me show you what happens. I'm going to leave this up here on the screen. This ventilator is great because it will predict for me what the eye to e ratio is going to be. So what I did is I selected my eye time here, and then you can see it comes up here and it says um, one to three. If I turn this down to 0.8, okay, so the ventilator is going to take uh, 0.8 seconds to deliver that inhalation, then you can see what it does, does to my IDE ratio. It changes it. It's now 1 to 4. So it's going to take one, it's going to take 0.8 seconds for that patient to receive the breath, and then they're going to uh, you know, basically uh, be exhaling for 3.2 seconds. Okay, 60, uh, 0.8 times 4. So that's how you manipulate that. So let's let's go back here and say, okay, well, what if I want to shorten um, 
IDE ratio. I can turn my uh, inspiration time up, my eye time up, and you can know, you can see how much longer it takes for the ventilator to deliver that breath. Okay, that's a real slow inhalation, and you can see what it did to my eye time. That's probably not physiologically comfortable. Um, there may be uh, some circumstances where that would be beneficial, um, and uh, I've got a, a super smart respiratory therapist friend uh, who will probably chime in on that as well. All right, so let me show you what respiratory rate does. It's the same thing, okay? If I, if I take this back down to one, and I start manipulating the respiratory rate. Okay, I've got a weak connection, and I'm sorry if this is cutting out. Um, I'm out in the middle of the plane, so it may not be great. Um, but the video will be posted, and you'll be able to comment there. Um, real quick, so you can see I took my respiratory rate from. Oops. I took my respiratory rate from 15. Yep, down to 12, and you can see what it's done. It's it's changed my IDE ratio, okay, one to four. It took a it took a little bit for it to catch up, right? So the patient's not getting as many breaths. Well, what's the difference between dropping the breath versus dropping the eye time? Well, with the if I drop the the breath and I the respiratory rate, and I don't manipulate the tidal volume. I end up dropping their minute ventilation, and if I drop their minute ventilation, right? We know minute ventilation is a pro is a um, the product of um, respiratory rate times tidal volume. Then I run the risk of um, underventilating them, okay, or hypoventilating them, and allowing their CO2 to rise. Um, and you can see that here on the ventilator. Uh, where is it? Uh, there you go. So 5.1 um, liters per minute. If I take this back up to 15. It's going to take uh, take a couple breaths for it to catch up, but you'll see the the, the uh, minute ventilation is starting to, to climb. All right, stick around. I'm going to end this, and I'm going to come right back up, and we're going to finish this up. Uh, I'm losing my light here, so stick around. I'll be right back.